All right, so my top three running songs right now. Okay, first one is Trenches by Pop Evil, uh, Switchback by Cell Dweller, and The Hell In Me by Killswitch Engage, because I feel like Jesse Leach is singing to me saying, run like this. Run! That's what I'm talking about. Hi everyone, Richie here, and I'm just about to go for a run, um, but I wanted to talk to you first about wearables. At the CES, it was the category on everyone's tongue, and I'm really interested to see how this range develops, and what it's really going to mean in terms of changing our lifestyles and habits. Now, being a runner, I've been using so-called wearables for a long time now. In fact, I had one of the original Polar hard rate monitor watches uh, that had a pod on your foot, uh, that measured your movement. Uh, now it's a Garmin GPS watch with a heart monitor. Uh, the thing with these performance wearables though is that uh, they're not really permanent fixtures. Uh, you put them on when you need them and you take them off when you're not doing that strenuous activity. The rise of the so-called activity tracker is, in my mind, uh, something quite different. Uh, it's unobtrusive and ever-present. Now I'll admit I'm a little late on this adoption curve, but I got myself a Fitbit Flex to primarily track my sleep patterns because I feel like I am quite a restless sleeper. And because it measures movement, it can provide some really good data on the period that you would be most unaware, that is sleep time. As it turns out, I sleep for around six hours and toss and turn about 10 times a night. Now, because there's no actual GPS built into the wristband, you do have to take the amount of steps, distance, and calories with a grain of salt. As you can see, I can swing my wrist in the air, and it increases the number of steps even though I'm sitting on the couch. But what it does do is give you a really good baseline for your daily habits, which leads to this sort of gamification of my waking life. Now, I'll look at the Fitbit app once in the morning and then again in the early afternoon to see where I'm at. Uh, you can also double tap the band to get a basic progression bar. If I feel like I haven't walked enough steps uh, to make the day's quota, I'll consciously move around more. Uh, or like yesterday, stop putting off that run around the local streets and actually just get out there. Uh, while I was running, the wristband vibrated, uh, which meant that I'd completed the day's goal. And that is a strangely satisfying moment, sort of like finishing the next level of whatever game you're currently into. I actually like this idea of being able to tap into this constant telemetry feed of myself. I feel like it's comparable to the black box recorder on planes. For example, if something did happen to me, if I feel ill or collapsed, uh, medics uh, or family could sync my Fitbit to see how the last few days were for me. Was I over-exercising? Was I having adequate sleep? Were my activity levels very different to the norm? These things wouldn't normally be able to be quantified to any accurate level, but this information could be passed on to a medical team. Uh, so for me, this, particularly, uh, this particular wearable works for me because it's on me all the time and serves a practical purpose for motivation um, and information. It doesn't require daily charging, so there's no battery anxiety, and it's small and light enough that it doesn't really register I'm wearing it. Uh, and that's probably the test of a good wearable, and I can't wait to get my hands on the new generation of products that are coming through this year. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Uh, will you be going headlong into wearables this year or are you there already? And is there any particular one that stands out that you think would suit you? Let me know in the comments area below. And in the meantime, I'm off for another run. Until next time.